Welcome back to this fabulous channel. Welcome back to the city of Sin. If you all are new to the channel or stopping in for your first time, my name is Ryan. I will be your host for all of these epic adventures. But today, if you can hear me, we are in fabulous Las Vegas on the Fremont Street Experience. Right now, it is Saturday night here in Las Vegas, so it should be a busy one for you guys. The light show is currently going on. What not a better time to walk this strip than to do it when the light awning is going on. So right now, we are over by the D. If you are just catching up with us, we just finished the live stream with the kids. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to check out the channel to check out the live stream and the rest of the stuff that we've done here for you in the city of Sin. Right now, it is incredibly loud. So if this audio sucks, I am so sorry for that. But we will continue our way and uh, do a little walk down the Fremont Street experience. So like I said, we are right outside of the D. As you can see on the left, we have the D bar. They have a nice little arts and crafts store that was over to the right behind me if you just missed that. But the D bar is a great spot to catch yourself a drink here in fabulous Las Vegas and check that out. Um, if you want to do that, be sure to do that. Be sure to check out our fabulous host Richard at the D as well. What an incredible guy. I will definitely be back at the D. So thank you, Richard, for everything that you did. As you can see, the zip line down the Fremont Street experience is going tonight. It is a busy, busy Saturday night here in Las Vegas. And like I said, what perfect timing but to catch the light show. So as you can see, over on the left is the Four Queens. They had to shut off the lights for the light show. Fremont Casino is over there on the right. They still have the lights going. I don't recall if I've seen this particular light show before. They do change this up from time to time. Uh, so if you come down here, it may not be the same light show that you've experienced. So it's always worth checking out the Fremont Street experience, coming downtown and getting your take and your view and your input on this awesome experience. It's so much fun to be downtown, especially when there's uh, good cheap drinks, good cheap gambling and good wholesome fun. What better place to spend your Saturday night or your Friday night is right here in downtown in fabulous Las Vegas. But like I said, it's a busy one. So Vegas is reopened for business. Um, during the pandemic, this was all shut down. So if you guys checked out the abandoned videos, you'll see that this was all closed off when we did our little drive because we couldn't walk down this. And then as you saw in the reopening videos, this was incredibly vacant and bare, but I decided to check out Las Vegas during the weekend because that's when things start happening in the city of Sin. As you can see, tonight is a hustling and bustling night, but there's a lot of people here. We're here enjoying ourselves on this awesome Fremont Street experience, and we're gonna check out some of the sights and sounds that everything has to offer. So we will continue to make our way down the Fremont Street experience here. A couple of new things that are in place that you have to be 21 or older to be on the Fremont Street experience. There's no backpacks that are allowed and you do go through metal detectors as you're coming in. So if you're a filmer like me, be sure to take your camera out ahead of time because you will not be allowed in with your backpack. You actually have to leave that back in the car. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick little heads up just so you know, they still do the 899 prime rib there at the Fremont Street experience. So you can definitely check that out. Um, but definitely go check out a bunch of these hotels and casinos. Like I said, the drinks are good. The gambling is pretty cheap compared to the strip and the experience is such a good one. So coming across here, we are going to cross the street on our way over to Binion's and the Golden Nugget. Uh, there are a bunch of people on this Fremont Street experience, which I thought would have uh, not been as packed as it is, but it being a Saturday night here in this fabulous city, you know that it's gonna be busy here in Vegas. But look at those guitars up top, man. That's absolutely sweet. I love coming down here just to see what different shows they put up on the light awning. Uh, the only bad part that I don't like is the music is so blaringly loud you can barely hear yourself think. But at least they're playing good music, you know? So that's all that I have to say about that. So these signs up on the top right will show you you must have an ID, no backpack, no but no one under 21 is allowed here on the Fremont Street experience. So that is a change uh, from the last time that we walked down this Fremont Street experience. So if you guys remember that in the past, uh, that is one thing that I always loved about Fremont is I was able to take my backpack, everything that I needed was already here with me. 
and I was able to go through it uh, without no problems. But now that has all changed just to kind of give you a heads up and my observations here. Now some of these shops over here on the left, like you see the Sunglasses Hut over on my left again, you can see the t-shirt factory um, and all those cool little design t-shirts. Some of those are open, some of these are closed. So not all of these little outlets in the center are open. A few of them are, select ones are open in the center, but not every single one is quite open. Uh, so hopefully in the months to come, uh, once the restrictions start laxing a bit, uh, that will be an opportunity that you'll see more and more of these little shops open. Um, but they have plenty of stuff down here as we continue our way down. Uh, the stage bar over at the Golden Nugget is off on my left hand side. Uh, the Whiskey Liquor Up Saloon is going to be right over to my right here. I've heard good things about that place. I'm a whiskey connoisseur myself. Uh, so I might have to check that place out here once I get done with this video. But like you know, I try and stay sober when I do these things. That way I don't sound incredibly intoxicated while we do these. On the top left, there's Las Vegas Tattoo. Uh, from what I understand, the, ta the tattoo company is open, but the souvenir shop down below is not. On my right, you can see this little taco truck that's going on. Uh, I haven't tested that personally to see if it's any good. Uh, but behind that you'll notice all the construction. Now that's where uh, Circa will be. So Circa is going to be owned um, by the same owner of the D in Golden Gate. Uh, so Derek Stevens will own that as well. So I'm going to see if Richard will be able to get us into Circa when that opens to be able to check it out for you guys. Uh, but I thought that that would be absolutely awesome if we could check out Circa on the opening. If you haven't seen the hotel tower, it is absolutely dominating the downtown skyline. It is absolutely cool to see when you're driving in on North I-15, uh, driving south on I-15 to come to Vegas. You can see it poke up out of the, the sky almost before you can see the strat. So it's a little bit uh, different of an experience than uh, what I was used to seeing, but it's an awesome one. It's always good to think, uh, see new things coming here downtown, so it's always a fun time. Uh, be sure to check out Fremont Street. Be sure to check out the D Golden Gate and Circa when it opens. Uh, we'll keep you posted on the opening date and everything like that once those things have been announced. And we'll check out that casino. We'll check out the hotel and uh, make our stay downtown one of these days. So on the left, you do have the Golden Gate. And then straight ahead at the end of the Fremont Street experience, uh, you'll have the Plaza Hotel and Casino. But guys, I'm so glad that you had the opportunity to join me on today's adventure. A huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for taking your time today to watch these videos. Be sure to share these with your friends and family. Like the video, subscribe if you have not already done so. But my name is Ryan. Until the next Las Vegas adventure.